Light, bright, and cheerful. It's some of the most familiar of all early 18th century music. It's been featured in uncounted films and television commercials. But what is it, and why does it sound that way? This is the opening of Spring from the Four Seasons by Italian composer Antonio Vivaldi. The Four Seasons are famous in part because they're a delight to the ear. However, even more notable is the fact that they have stories to tell. At the time of their publication in Amsterdam, in 1725, they were accompanied by poems describing exactly what feature of that season Vivaldi intended to capture in musical terms. In providing specific plot content for instrumental music, Vivaldi was generations ahead of his time. If one were to read the poems simultaneously to hearing the music, one would find the poetic scenes synchronizing nicely with the musical imagery. We are told that the birds welcome spring with happy song, and here they are doing exactly that. Soon, however, a thunderstorm breaks out. Not only is there musical thunder and lightning, there are also more birds, wet, frightened, and unhappy. In summer, the turtle dove sings her name, Tortorella, in Italian. before a hailstorm flattens the fields. Autumn brings eager hunters dashing out in pursuit of their prey. The winter concerto begins with teeth chattering in the cold, before one takes refuge by a crackling fire. Then it's back out into the storm, where there'll be slips and falls on the ice. In these first weeks of winter, the old year is coming to a close, and so does Vivaldi's musical exploration of the seasons. Not until the early 19th century would such expressive instrumental program music, as it was known, become popular. By then, larger, more varied ensembles were the rule, with woodwinds, brass, and percussion to help tell the tale. But Vivaldi pulled it off with just one violin, strings, and a harpsichord. Unlike his contemporary Bach, Vivaldi wasn't much interested in complicated fugues. He preferred to offer readily accessible entertainment to his listeners, with melodies that pop back up later in a piece to remind us of where we've been. So the first movement of the Spring Concerto begins with a theme for spring, and it ends with it too, slightly varied from when it was last heard. It was an inspired way to attract listeners, and Vivaldi, considered one of the most electrifying violinists of the early 18th century, understood the value of attracting audiences. Such concerts might feature himself as the star violinist. Others presented the young musicians of the Pietà, 
a Venetian girls' school where Vivaldi was director of music. Most of the students were orphans. Music training was intended not only as social skills suitable for young ladies, but also as potential careers for those who might fail to make good marriages. Even in the composer's own time, Vivaldi's music served as diversion for all, not just for the wealthy aristocrats. 300 years later, it's an approach that still works, and Vivaldi's music still sounds like trotting horses on the move. Antonio Vivaldi was an Italian composer of the Baroque era and was very well known during his time as a performer and a teacher. One of the types of music that he liked to compose was called concerto. A concerto is a type of composition that is written for a solo instrument and is accompanied by an ensemble, with the soloist having a more prominent role and the ensemble having a supporting role. Many concertos are written in a three-movement structure. Think of movements in classical music like episodes of your favorite show. Each episode can be watched separately, but they're a part of a larger story arc. Movements and music function in much the same way. Each movement contains its own internal structure, but it is part of a larger architecture. And one of Vivaldi's most famous violin concertos is known as the Four Seasons. Originally written in the early 1700s, they were eventually published in 1725 as part of a collection of 12 concertos called The Contest Between Harmony and Invention. The Four Seasons is actually made up of four separate concertos, each concerto representing a different season of the year. Concerto number one represents spring, concerto number two represents summer, three, autumn, and number four represents winter. To help reinforce this fact, Vivaldi does something that was a bit unconventional at the time. The concertos are published alongside four sonnets, one for each of the concertos. The text of the sonnets depicts scenes from each of the seasons, birds singing in the spring, a summer storm, the harvest and hunt in autumn, and the ice and snow of winter. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the first concerto, Spring. The text of the sonnet for Spring goes something like this. Springtime is upon us. The birds celebrate her return with festive song, and murmuring streams are softly caressed by the breezes. Thunderstorms, those heralds of spring, roar, casting their dark mantle over heaven. Then they die away to silence, and the birds take up their charming songs once more. On the flower-strewn meadow, with leafy branches rustling overhead, the goat herd sleeps, his faithful dog beside him. Led by the festive sound of rustic bagpipes, nymphs and shepherds lightly dance beneath the brilliant canopy of spring. The rhyming scheme gets lost in the translation from Italian to English, but if we look at the original Italian, we can see that the rhyming pattern is much clearer. Just like the concertos, the sonnets are broken up into three sections. So this first section goes along with the first movement of the concerto, and this part goes with the second movement, and this part goes with the last movement. So we should hear birds singing and thunderstorms in the first movement, the second movement should have a sleeping shepherd and a dog, and the last movement should sound like a party with dancing and bagpipes. Not only does Vivaldi print the sonnets alongside the music, but he actually references them in the score, which we'll see later. This is one of the most important things about Vivaldi's Four Seasons. He's trying to tell a story with the music. He's trying to make the violin sound like a bird singing. He's trying to make the ensemble sound like a thunderstorm. This type of composition is called program music. Program music is a type of instrumental music associated with poetic, descriptive, or narrative subject matter. In this case, Vivaldi is using the sonnets as the narrative and writing the music to try and evoke the different scenes from the sonnets. The name program music comes from the practice of printing the narrative material in the concert programs for the audience. Examples of program music go as far back as the Renaissance, but Vivaldi's Four Seasons is one of the most well-known examples from the Baroque era. Now, let's listen to spring and try to hear the different elements from the spring sonnet.